All right, good evening, everybody. Today we're going to be doing the practice and problem solving for multiplying integers. I'll, I will do all the odd ones, so I'll start with number nine. Number nine says uh, we're going to multiply negative six to negative two. Before we start, let's go over roughly uh, all the rules for multiplying integers. Remember that a positive times a positive is going to equal a positive. And a negative times a negative will equal a positive as well, positive numbers. But any positive number times a negative number or a negative number times a positive number will equal negative answers, okay? So the rules is if the signs are the same, you'll get a positive answer. If the signs are different, you'll get a negative one. Here we have two negative numbers being multiplied together. So as the rule state, negative times a negative will be a positive, and six times two is 12. So the answer is 12. All right, uh, next we have 11. Uh, that's seven times negative five. Well, that's a positive number times a negative number. Positive times a negative equals a negative answer. And seven times five equals 35. So our answer is negative 35. Number 13 states have negative one times negative 24. That's a negative times a negative. So that will equal a positive answer. And one times 24, of course, is 24. Number 15 says a football team lost the same number of yards on each of three consecutive plays. What is the total change in yards from where the team started? Well, they say uh, they lost the same number of yards on each of the three consecutive plays. And we need to know what is the total change in yards from where the team started. To do this problem, I had to go find the picture that was in your book and, and paste it on here. And that way it makes more sense because we really didn't know by looking at the question uh, exactly how many yards that they lost each time. But as you see, the picture states we have six yards, six yards, and six yards. So that means they lost the same number of yards. That was six yards each time, three consecutive plays. So that means we have, uh, let's see, they said since we lost it, it's negative six and three consecutive plays, that's going to be uh, times three. We have a positive times a negative number, that's gonna be negative 18. All right, let's scroll down here to number 17. It says, Alex is working to simplify five times negative eight times two. All right, to do this, we have to go ahead and use our rules again. Five times negative eight is going to give us, uh, see five times eight is 40, and we have a positive times a negative, so that'd be negative 40. And so now we have negative 40 times two. Once again, we have a negative number times a positive number. Uh, so that's gonna go ahead and give us a negative answer, and 40 times two is 80. So uh, the product, of uh, five times negative eight times two is negative 80. So suppose Alex found the opposite of the correct product, or the opposite of negative 80 would be 80. Describe an error he could have made that resulted in it. Um, well, I'm gonna go with, um, he may have forgotten to put the negative sign in front of his answer. All right, um, that's the best I can come up with on that one. Next, we're going towards number 19. It says, make sense and preserve. While playing a board game, Celia had to move back six spaces nine times. What integer represents Celia's movement on the board for those nine turns? Well, if you move back six places, uh, that's a negative six. And since it's nine times, you're multiplying 
negative six times positive nine. Well, a negative times a positive will give us a negative answer, and six times nine is 54. So I would have to say our answer is going to be negative 54. All right, I've done all of the uh, odd ones. It's on you to do the even ones. Um, good luck, and I'll see you in class.